Meanwhile, as the ultimatum given to the federal government to implement the new minimum wage is set to expire, the United Labour Congress has advised its members to prepare for a final level of alert for a nationwide strike. Briefing newsmen after its Central Working Committee meeting, UOC Chairman Joe Ajiru says they shall no longer be obliged to give any further notice to the government before embarking on the needed action. Former Chairman of Nupeng Igwe Achese dismissed insinuations that the new minimum wage of 65,000 naira will lead to inflation. And the United Level Congress of Nigeria will join other level centers, you know, to go into an industrial action, you know, to press home the demand of Nigerian workers for a living wage. Uh, that between the time the almost 12 days after the ultimatum was issued, the federal government of Nigeria has not responded positively, you know, to the demands raised by level, and that uh, from the look of things. We are going to a meeting this evening with other level sectors, TUC and the NLC, to conclude on the modus of trending on the industrial action. What have you some advisor doing in, a, in, a, in his cabinet? So we are talking about prioritization of the issues, looking at what you think you can put on ground, and then put something for, you know, create a job opportunity for workers. Put something that can also create revenue also for the state. But some of these issues, you can't find them in the, gov in the governor's uh, agendas. All you hear is that we're doing one project here. The next thing you hear, we spend billions of naira in security vote that is unaccounted for. And then you hear we spend so, so money in an invisible environment. And that invisible environment, you might, you might call it one name, security. ULC also cleared the air on how the new minimum wage will affect the informal sector. Reacting to concerns of state government's inability to pay the minimum wage, Achesi advised the governors to set their priorities right. Those that employ maybe up to 10 or 20 people will be covered by the minimum wage law. And whatever is agreed is implemented there. However, we are pushing for the review of that and so that the minimum wage law will be all inclusive, even to cover domestic services. So even when you employ one person, so that they will be covered, for so that mainly the weak, that the minimum wage must uh, cover. For us, we have said clearly, the minimum wage issue is not going back. We don't want to see that as political, you know, motivated that government is not saying go and negotiate now.